Using pivots within MeshMixer opens up a lot of new functionality for most of the existing tools within MeshMixer. Most notably, you can use them with the Transform and Align tools to make the precise positioning of objects very simple. To create a pivot, select an object, then click Edit, then Create Pivot. There are many different ways to create the pivot based on the object you have selected. You can see the options here in the drop-down list. For example, surface point, snap to vertex, snap to face center, and many more. Here I choose bounding box, which drops a pivot in the center of the sphere when I click on the sphere. Then I can confirm the pivot creation by clicking drop pivot. Now, transforming the sphere around the pivot at the center would not be much different than the default movement without the pivot. So I can move the pivot to another location and use it as the pivot for the sphere's transform. You can see the pivot show up in the object browser when you toggle on the visibility of the pivot objects here at the bottom. Here I'll transform it just a bit in the X direction and click Accept. Now when I want to translate the sphere, I can click on the pivot object and notice the transform manipulator moves over to the pivot object. Now any moving, rotating, or scaling will happen with respect to the position and orientation of the pivot object. Here I can rotate the sphere around the Y axis and the rotation is happening with the sphere rotating with that offset around the pivot object. Something also new in MeshMixer 2.9 is the ability to drop a copy of an object while in the Transform tool by pressing the D hotkey. Here I'll create a pattern of spheres around the pivot object by rotating and snapping to increments around the pivot, then pressing D at each increment I want a sphere. At the end, I can press A or click Accept to finish the transform. So, using the pivot as the rotation center and snapping to specific increments now gives me this precise method for making a pattern. Now, I can use the pivots in most of the other tools as well that have some kind of click and drag interaction. For example, stamping or mesh mixing will snap and drop the part on the pivot. In other tools like the plane cut, clicking on a pivot We'll set the plane to the pivot. I'll show a demo of that in a second. Before I do that, I'll perform a combine, then a make solid on the pattern spheres to ensure there is no overlapping sphere geometry on the inside. Checking transfer groups on the advanced section of make solid ensures I keep my face groups on the new solid. Now with the Make Solid finished, I have eliminated any interior or self-intersecting sphere geometry. Now I can enter the Plane Cut tool and click the pivot to ensure I'm cutting through the center of my pattern spheres. Notice if I click the pivot, it cycles me through the X, Y, and Z orientations. If I choose the Slice Group type for the Plane Cut, I get new face groups on each side of the Plane Cut, cutting through the middle of my object. Now I can use the Make Pattern tool to pattern the face group edges for a unique piece of jewelry or an accessory. I can even smooth that result to make it more dynamic. So here is a pretty interesting result, starting from just a sphere and making use of the pivots with a couple of the tools. The Align tool has also been revamped to work with pivots. In fact, assembling objects by use of pivots is now streamlined with some fast action alignment when you drag one pivot onto another. It is quite easy to assemble objects with some accuracy. To get this behavior, you want to make sure to check the Link to Object box when creating the pivot on the object. Now I can not only use these pivots within the Align tool for assembling the objects, but I can automatically enter the Align tool when I drag one object's pivot onto another. You can see that a red line appears connecting the two pivots with a transparent preview of the result. All I have to do is then click Accept or Hotkey A. By the way, if you're having trouble clicking the pivot because it's on the inside of the object, just click twice in the same place 
and hold the second click to drag it onto the other pivot. So I recommend exploring pivots with all of the tools you may use in your workflows, especially transform and align. Creating and using pivots with these tools opens up a lot of interesting and powerful workflows within MeshMixer. Thank you.